That's it. Snow. Drop me off here, Tom. It is. I knew that. Hey! I'm so sorry, Sam. That'll teach me to wear a cardboard box on my head. You mean an astronaut's helmet, Gareth. <laughs> uh, oh, yes. This way, everyone. The clouds are lifting. I'm sorry I tried to play a prank on you, James. I wasn't really fooled. I know aliens aren't real. Oh, yes, they are. One visited my house last night. Really? Yes. He was a little green man with seven eyes, 12 tentacles, and a purple mustache, and... Oh. Wow. The Northern Lights. The Aurora Borealis. Aren't they amazing? I'll tell you what's really amazing. Norman isn't saying anything. One small step for Norman. One giant leap for mankind. to get to the mountains now it's too stormy for tom's helicopter i'm calling the station there's only one thing strong enough to move this tree <laughs> James, I'm sure we'll be rescued soon. Okay, Phoenix. You can do this. Easy does it. And I'm ready to head into the mountains. Come in, Sam. Saturn has detected body heat just ahead of you. Over. Copy that, Elvis.
come in, Elvis. I found them, and I'm bringing them down. Roger that, Sam. I'll bring Saturn back. Oh, now look what your bat's done. Take it down now, James. Ready for your spooky party, guests? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Enjoy the party. Cool bat. Wow. Amazing. It's really big. Thanks. I made it. Now, who's ready for some of my monster dancing? Yeah! Oh, yeah. yeah. What's this garbage? It's getting in the way of my dance moves. That is not garbage! Thanks for taking the candy apples, Penny. Ooh, uh, I'll get it. Uh, Elvis, remember, don't cook the candy for too long or it'll get too hard to use. It needs to be runny. Okay, Sam, runny it is. Ooh, tasty candy apples. I can't wait to make you. <laughs> and, oh, aha! Ooh, please! Not yet, sir. The candy has to set on the apples. Oh, this waiting's just miserable. So, how's it going, Elvis? Oh, uh, I think we might need some new candy. Ah, uh, and a new pan. Hmm. Whoa, Sarah, that's amazing. That's amazing. Oh. Thanks, I made it. So, who's ready to play one of my games? Yeah! yeah. Anything but uh, make a mummy. But so this game is called Pin the Tail on the Spooky Cat. Can anyone else smell burning? <gasps> My house! My bag! Oh, this is so nice and peaceful. is clear. Fire Captain Steel has finally given up on the candy apples. Yeah, he's just there, Elvis. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Ah! Fire crew, today's exercise will require courage, sacrifice, and a healthy coat of paint. Wow, your miniature model of Pony Panty looks amazing, sir. Very impressive. Indeed. But if I'm going to finish it before tonight's grand unveiling, I'll need your help and the assistance of a trusty professional builder. Oh. Unfortunately, he wasn't available, so my flood will have to do. Oh, is that supposed to be me? I don't always wear that awful green outfit, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and granddads, welcome to the greatest show on earth. Brace yourselves for the breathtaking trapeze act. <laughs> Trapeze act? Huh, that's just a tire swing strung up to the rafters. No, it's not. Ah! Oh, ah, 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 ah. Ah! The incredible plate spinning routine. Ta da! Uh, oh, oh, um. Are they meant to be falling and smashing? Norman? No, Mom. <laughs> What's that? Um. Act three. Hilarious. 
is clowning. I thought you said this show was going to be spectacular. It will be, I promise. Wait till you see my next act. Wild and exotic animal taming. Ooh. There. A miniature garden at my miniature cottage. <laughs> now, to glue on the flagpole. Oh, careful of the wet. Paint. Oh, my minivan. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Fire Captain Steele. Great tangled hoses. My village. All right, team. Time to shape up and get serious. Yes, yes sir, Captain Steele. And now, live in the ring, before your very eyes, I will tame. No, it won't. Hello, Hannah. Hello, Norman. Um, we're looking for an injured fox, Trevor. And we really need a lift to the cliffs. The cliffs? Oh, I don't know, Hannah. That's not really on my route. Oh, please, Trevor. You'd be such a hero, just like Fireman Sam. Oh, uh, <laughs> a hero, eh? Hmm, yes. <laughs> How did you do that? That was amazing. Just keep an eye out for the fox. Now, Radar, let's see how fit you are. Oh, I hope Radar's all right. Come on, boy. You can do it. Woo! That's my radar. We've looked everywhere for that fox, Hannah. I really should be getting back. No! Please, Trevor. If we don't find him, Mom will be really mad. And if you go, we'll never get back. You'd be a real hero if you helped us, Trevor. <laughs> you got something in your eye, Norman? Uh, no. I, uh... Look! Up there! I see something red, and it's moving. It's the fox. Oh, I'll get him. Uh, no, Norman. That's a very tall tree. Let me do it. I am Chief Pioneer, remember? <sighs> oh, I just wish that I hadn't had that oh, pot pie for lunch. Keep going, Trevor. Now a little to the left. That's it. You've got it. It's not a fox. It's not? It's a kite. Oh! Oh! Are you all right, Trevor? I think so. It's time to call Fireman Sam. I'm happy to announce Radar is 100% happy and healthy. Hooray! <laughs> Hello, Lizzie. Hi, Sam. I just got a call. A penguin has escaped from Newtown Zoo. A waddly penguin? They wondered if we could all keep a lookout. Well, it's certainly something we notice. Oh, and they're offering a reward to anyone that finds it. A year's free pass to Newtown Zoo. I love Newtown Zoo, and I would love to meet a waddly penguin. <laughs> well, we'll keep our eyes open, Lizzie. Um, uh, maybe I should go and look for the Wadley Penguin? Not now, Elvis. I need you to gauge the pressure from the hydrant. You need to tell me when the hose is at full blast. <gasps> that sounded like a penguin! Uh, whoa! Whoa! Ah! I'm sorry, Penny. I thought I heard the Wadley Penguin. That's all right, Elvis. This is the biggest beach hole ever! Beach holes are silly. You won't think it's silly when it's all decorated. Oh, I think I will. Mm, now what would look best? A big shell, some seaweed, a penguin, a 
I'm a, a penguin. A penguin? Oh, no! He must have escaped from the zoo. We need to get him back. Mandy, if he's escaped from somewhere, that means he doesn't actually want to be there. Ooh, he's a bit stinky. He smells of fish because he's a penguin. Do you want to come to my house, Mr. Penguin? Have either of you two seen a waddly penguin? Yes! No! Uh, sorry, we've seen nothing. No penguins here. Norman. But, um, we'll keep an eye out. Bye! Okay, thanks. Norman, where's the penguin? <gasps> I can't believe you just did that. Come on, Mr. Penguin. I'm going to give you the best home ever. Oh, no! Why did all these boxes have to turn up? I've got Trevor coming to dinner tonight, and I wanted everything to look tidy. Now, what's this? Ooh, scented candles. Just the thing for creating a romantic atmosphere. Lamplight on Long Island. <laughs> oh, not sure about that. Sunset over Swansea. Ooh, smells a bit fishy. Maybe I'd get a better idea if I liked them. Where are those matches? I'm really not sure about this, Norman. Well, I am. This will be Mr. Penguin's new home from now on. Ocean Rescue uniforms are lined for warmth in water and brightly colored so you can be easily seen. And they have a whistle. I love that whistle. Oh, Sam, just in time. Oh, thanks, Penny. So, let's see how fast you can all change. And go! Good time, everyone. Now, Take those off, and we'll get back to the station and see how fast you can change into the animal rescue uniforms. You all right, Elvis? Oh, yes, I'm fine. You go on. I can catch up. <laughs> so, we're going to have to work very, very hard. We're going to bake all the extra pizzas that Granddad needs. Sarah! Oh, Sarah, can you stop playing Ninja Carrots and start making pizzas? Sorry, James. Yes, James? It's yes, Chef! Hello, James. Just checking that everything is going okay uh, with the pizzas. Everything's fine, Granddad. They'll all be ready in time. Uh, James, we still need to cook them. And there's not much room in that oven. Ah, huh. we've got another oven upstairs. Sarah, take those pizzas up and put them in as quick as you can. pizzas in this oven. I put as many as I can in the upstairs oven, James. Uh, I mean, Chef. But there are still loads left. <gasps> There's an oven at my house. Perfect. So you take the rest and put them in your oven, Hannah. Go, go, go. Um, yes, Chef. <laughs> uh, uh, very good, yes. Yeah. Oh, Fredlington. You appear to be wearing an ocean rescue uniform. I am. I can't get out. Ooh, stay right there. I might just have the very thing. The animal rescue uniforms are a softer color so as not to scare the animals. And they are made from a material that is very easy to move around in. So, let's see how fast you can change into these. Crippington, get the animal rescue uniform on. Look, children, stalactites. Rock formations that hang down. Whoa! Can you hear the underground streams? 
Aw, I haven't seen one bat. Good. I don't want any of that scary bat magic near me. Bats aren't scary or magic, Norman. Ah, uh, yes they are, Mandy. It's a well-known fact that if they flop near you, you turn into a bat. Are we really deep in the mountain, Moose? Nope, there are tunnels that go much deeper than these, but some of them are dangerous, eh? Aww. Great, now let's head back up to the daylight. Stay close together, everyone. Great, we're getting out of here before I get... A handcart. Ooh, I haven't seen one of those in years. She's a proper beauty. Stiff, though. It could do with some expert attention. May I adjust the crankshaft? <gasps> A bat! Oh, it's so cute! Oh, I can't see! Don't worry, Jimbo. Your eyes aren't used to the light after being in the dark. You'll be able to see soon. When you do, can you tell me if I've been turned into a bat? I'm sure I got flapped down there. Don't be silly, Norman Price. Hang on, someone's missing. Yeah, where's Mandy? Oh no, maybe it got her. The mad bat of Ponty Pandy. Uh oh Upside down! Awesome! Norman is so wrong. You're scared of me, not the other way around. Oh, this must be one of those underground streams! Oh! Oh no! Help! Oh no! Help! Oh no! Mandy's been turned into a bat! Be quiet, Norman Price. Sounds like she's a long way down. Call Fireman Sam. Mandy Blood is trapped in the caves. Looks like we're heading back to the mountain, Sam. Let's take Hydrus. One. You haven't managed to catch one yet, Norman. If I don't catch this one, you can have my best propeller hat. Okay. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I was supposed to catch that. It's normally me that does that. with Hannah and James on a giant birthday cake. Ah, Penny, you come with me to the Ocean Rescue Center. Elvis, you help Fire Captain Steele. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam! Sam.
get Dillis, I'll pick up James and Hannah. Roger that, Sam. Cake's got a soggy bottom. Leave the cake, Dillis, and grab hold of this. Get James first, Sam. I'm a much stronger swimmer. If you're sure, Hannah. I am. Right. So I think if we all hold things like this, we look more like volunteer firefighters. Good idea, Trevor. Oh, I get the hose. Actually, Mike, I think as I'm the chief volunteer firefighter, I should hold the hose. Actually, I'm going to hold the hose. Me too. Who says it's just the men that should hold the hose? No, I. it's mine. No, uh, let, let go. No, it's mine. <laughs> Put it it's down. Mine. It's mine. Okay, Trevor. Let's let go, Dillis. Good idea, Helen. Whoa. <laughs> Perhaps I should have just gone to the beach today. Oh, oh no! I don't think I'm in Ponty Pandy anymore. Oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Okay, Tom, don't panic. Be cool. Use your helicopter pilot training. Think. Uh, swim to shore. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I'll swim back to shore. But, uh. Which way is the shore? Okay, now, no poses, no brave faces, nothing to hold. Just stand by Jupiter and be yourselves. All right, Sam. Looking great. Now, don't move. Taking it in three, two... Three, four. Give me back my sausage! No, come on, give it back! <sighs> Where's Tom? The dinghy's gone! Why would he take the dinghy out in this weather? The tides come in past where the boat was. Tom must have fallen asleep and floated out into the fog. Come on, kids. We need to call Fireman Sam. Tom is lost. Please find Tom is lost in the fog out at sea. Tom is lost in the fog out at sea. Sorry, volunteers. You'll have to take your own photo. Penny and Ben. Tom is lost. Get Neptune and Titan ready now. Roger that, Sam. Roger that, Sam. Elvis, you come with me. Okay, Sam. like looking for a needle in a haystack. Visibility will be limited. It's all right, James. Nearly there. Nah, gotcha. Thanks, Sam. Here's two free tickets to the premiere of my new spy movie. It will have the most spectacular stunts ever! It sounds great, Norman. Just make sure the stunts aren't too dangerous, okay? Yes, Sam. Faster! Faster! Oh, this car chase scene looks incredible! Are you getting all this, Sarah? Yes, Norman! Aim for that wall of empty boxes, James! This is the bit where you have a spectacular This McChin fellow is top-notch. <laughs> ah, reminds me of a young me. That's James in a runaway go-kart heading for the pier. James Jones is in a runaway go-kart heading towards the pier. That's what I said. Ah, uh, I made.
may as well be doing all the stunts myself. Perhaps these stunts are getting a bit too spectacular, Norman? I'm sorry, Sam, but don't worry. We've only got one more scene to shoot, and it doesn't involve any danger. I promise. Okay, Norman. Well, good luck. Jake Pond, Super Spy, scene 57. Showdown in the villain's lair. Action! <laughs> ah! ah, Mr. Pond. I've been expecting you. Glove fingers, my old foe. <gasps> it's a trap. Number two, tie up the prisoner. And cut. Tie up the stunt double. I don't like movie making. Or being tied to a chair. Stop mm. complaining, James. All you have to do is direct a beam of sunlight through this magnifying glass and burn through the rope like this. Woohoo! Sam, over here! Oh, I'm not supposed to do that, am I? No, no, you're not, Elvis. Oh. Penalty kick to Ponty Panda United. Get ready for the penalty kick of the century. Uh, oh, stop. Watch and learn from the professional. This is how to kick a penalty shot. Huh? Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It's an own goal. Yes! Goal! Goal? Forget about the football, Norman. Just be careful with the. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <gasps> Mamma mia! What have you done? I'm so sorry. I'll clean up this mess. You take the pepperoni pizza out of the oven and take it to Ben at the key. Okay, Bella. Ah, it's not fair. I'm missing the match and all because of this silly pizza. Huh? No, this is how you attack. And this is how you defend. Well, there's nothing for us to do here. We might as well all go home. And this is how you scissor kick. <laughs> oh, oh, my back. Mm. The pizza smells a bit smoky. A bit too smoky. <gasps> oh, no! F oh, fire! Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh! <laughs> There is a hill fire in Ponty Pandy Park. There's a hill fire in Ponty Pandy Park. We'll fight the fire from the bottom of the hill. Elvis and Ellie, evacuate everyone from the stand. Look, children, stalactites. Rock formations that hang down. Whoa! Can you hear the underground streams? Aw, I haven't seen one bat. Good. I don't want any of that scary bat magic near me. Bats aren't scary or magic, Norman. Ah, uh, yes they are, Mandy. It's a well-known fact that if they flop near you, you turn into a bat. Are we really deep in the mountain, Moose? Nope. There are tunnels that go much deeper than these, but some of them are dangerous, eh? Aww. Great. Now let's head back up to the daylight. Stay close together, everyone. Great. We're getting out of here before I get A handcart. Ooh, I haven't seen one of those in years. She's a proper beauty. 
stiff, though. It could do with some expert attention. May I adjust the crankshaft? Don't worry, Jimbo. Your eyes aren't used to the light after being in the dark. You'll be able to see soon. When you do, can you tell me if I've been turned into a bat? I'm sure I got flapped down there. Don't be silly, Norman Price. Hang on, someone's missing. Yeah, where's Mandy? Oh no, maybe it got her. The mad bat of Ponty Pandy. Uh oh Upside down! Awesome! Norman is so wrong. You're scared of me, not the other way around. Oh, this must be one of those underground streams! Oh, oh no! Help! Oh no! Help! Oh no! Mandy's been turned into a bat! Be quiet, Norman Price. Sounds like she's a long way down. Call Fireman Sam. Mandy Blood is trapped in the caves. Looks like we're heading back to the mountain, Sam. Let's take Hydras. Norman Price. What are you doing in Bessie's shed? It's all right, Norris. I'm here. Oh, uh, Gareth, I, I didn't see you there. Well, as long as he's properly supervised. Have you got anything like a plane engine or a high-powered rocket so the dragon can fly? Well, I've got this old luggage trolley. If it's on wheels, then it might look like it's flying. Hmm. What's all that stuff? That's all the fire lighting equipment we use to light a fire in the steam engine. Wouldn't it be really good at lighting fires in dragons, too? Oh, no. That would be far too dangerous, Norman. <laughs> Only if you don't know what you're doing. Oh, look. Green paint. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, look, Jupiter. They're starting the smoke room training now. Now then, I'm off to rescue Dolly. You're supposed to be cleaning Jupiter, not your foot. I know, sir, but I finished cleaning Jupiter. <laughs> Can I join in the smoke room training now, sir? Hmm. Wait a minute. There's some soot on Jupiter's bumper and her headlights. There will be no smoke room training for you, Credlington, until Jupiter is clean. Pristine and gleaming. Hmm. <laughs> Don't worry, Jupiter. I'll get you some clean water. <laughs> Ooh, here comes the new dragon. You stay there, Gareth. As I'm king of the dragons, I just want to add some last-minute touches. <laughs> Once the king of dragons has a fire-breathing dragon, I will be the greatest king ever. Ah, behold. My dragon! Wow! It's amazing! It's great! It's on fire! What? Whoa! Huh? Oh! And it's coming toward us! Ah! Oh, 
no. Oh, Mike, no one's gonna stick their head through that if the paint's still wet. But it's my masterpiece. Why don't you just go get the one you did last year? But I've worked on this for weeks. I know. I've got a heater in the back of the van. I'll have it dry in no time. Won't be long now. <laughs> it's not fair. You sat in the middle when we went to the zoo. It is so fair. You got to sit in the middle when we went to the fun fair. Anyone want to turn on the siren? And you sat in the middle when we went to the beach. You did. Uh, I'll take that as a no, then. <laughs> roll up, roll up, eh? Test your strength and win a prize. Hear that, Trevor? Look, you could win me a teddy bear. Leave it to me, Dillis. What? The machine must be broken. Of course it's not broken. Watch. Don't worry, Trevor. You can win me a coconut instead. Come on. Let's see if she's dry yet. Oh, no one's ever going to see my masterpiece at this rate. Okay, it's time to turn it up to the max. Oh, hey, that'll dry you off, my little beauty. Ooh, and just enough time for a quick pizza while I'm waiting. What's going on? Oh, bad luck, Trevor. I'll take another ten balls, please, Norman. I have to win something. Great tangled hoses! What's going on? Ah, Trevor! I'm just trying to win a coconut! Oh, well, this is intolerable. I'm going to have to move somewhere else. Quidlington, I need your help. I'm going to back up. Tell me when I need to stop. Okay, sir. Oh. 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 I thought we were here to catch a sheep, not a fireman. <laughs> Why are we going this way, Norman? So we can beat Sarah and James. Now all we have to do is how did they get there? We need to get ahead of them, quick! Norman, it's really dangerous to run down a steep hill. It's fine. Don't be such a babe. Hey! Uh, 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 whoa! Uh, oh. Great shortcut, hey, Mandy? If you like skin knees and mud all over your bottom. Huh? How is he doing this? Shh. Norman, you'll frighten the horse. The horse? Oh. Come on then, Wooly. There you go. Mm, gotcha. Well done, Sam. It wasn't just me, Lizzie. We're a team. Well, I didn't really do anything. You did? I did? Yes. You did a great big belly flop into the mattress. <laughs> mm. Come on, Mandy. We can ride the horse to Pondy Pandy Point. We'll easily beat James then. But I can't ride a horse. Neither can I. But how hard can it be? It doesn't even have a saddle. Riding a horse is easy, Mandy. You just have to get on and say, giddy up, I've seen it on TV. Ugh, there is no way I'm getting on that horse. It's dangerous. There is nothing dangerous about being on this horse. Ah! Ah! Well, it looks pretty dangerous to me. <laughs> Do it! I'm actually going to win! Ah, wait! Where are 
are you going, RC? RC! warm up before we start exercising. Less talking and more action. And that's how glass bottles can cause serious fires. Right then, I think it's time for lunch. Now, you two. Help Trevor get the picnic things from the bus. Aw, I'm too hot to get things. Now, let's see you bend and pick up that fire bucket. Ten times, please. Oh, my back. Oh. Don't stop. Carry on, uh. carry on. A refreshing cup of tea. That's what I need. Oh, no. I've left the milk on the bus. You two stay here and keep your eye on that stove. Yeah, this is so boring. I'll tell you what wouldn't be boring. Why don't we go and check out that old boat? Oh, yes. Great idea, Derek. Quick, before Trevor gets back. Oh! I twisted my wrist. Ow! Oh. Now swing those buckets round from side to side. Swing! Ow! Ow! Oh, my neck! My foot! Ow. Oh, dear me. Oh, I'm calling Nurse Flood. She needs to examine Ellie's foot and see if she's broken anything. Uh, maybe we should stop now. Shame. I was just getting into my stride. Uh. It's going to be amazing! Hang on, where are the oars? They're not here. Is there anything else we could use? Ooh, floppy shovels! They'd be perfect! Oh, watch out, Norman. Now I've lost my paddle. I think I can... Reach it! Oh, uh, oh, 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 no! Now I've lost mine! We're floating away. Only one thing to do. Help! 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 What's that? <gasps> That's Norman and Derek! Oh, dear! Sam! Hmm, this looks like fun. That's the bendy wire game, Uncle Sam. You have to move the hoop from one end of the wire to the other without touching it. Ah. <laughs> you touched the wire. <laughs> ah. Ah. Oh. Wow. Not as easy as it looks. But Uncle Sam, what can I do while you're doing that? Ah. Uh, um. <laughs> I know, James. Why don't I give you the Fireman Sam Challenge? The Fireman Sam Challenge? Yes, you look around the house like you're a firefighter doing an inspection and check for anything you can do to make the house safer. Oh, great, Uncle Sam! <laughs> right. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> right, kids? So that's how you weave your twigs together, eh? So, if you get started on your little animals... We'll get started on our big one. Uh... I'm going to make a turtle. What about you, Sarah? I'm going to make a squirrel. Sorry, need these? What? And these as well. But we haven't got any twigs now. They took our twigs, too. And mine. Four feet high and rising, mate. We'll soon have a bear much bigger than anything the wild men in Newtown could build. But we're gonna need more sticks. 
Come on, guys. We can all build it together. As long as we still get our bushcraft badge. Right, Pioneers. This is going to be the tallest wicker bear in the world, eh? Hooray! If you can't beat them, join them. I suppose. We should check the batteries and the smoke alarm. Good idea, James. It's very important that the smoke alarm is working properly. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, now. Uh, uh, uh. Ah! Well, what do you think? It's amazing. I'm quite impressed, actually. Great, eh? Big and wild. Wild enough for the, the wild, wild men of Ponty Penny. <laughs> we should get a photo. Elvis? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're stuck, aren't you, Elvis? I am. Mm. Mm, lovely picnic, Lizzie. Come on, roll over. Shake paw. Jump. Anything. Except that. <laughs> oh, Norman is terrible. <laughs> Lady Pufflepaws won't even listen to him. Aha! Uh -huh. So this is what you like doing. Okay. Now it's time to play fetch. Come on. Bring the ball back. Where is Lady Pufflepaws, Norman? Yes, I thought Lady Pufflepaws was supposed to bring the ball back. She will. Just watch. Uh, um, you know what? I probably threw the ball too far. I've got such a strong arm. She's probably having to run for miles for that ball. I'd better go and help her. Ah, uh, where is she? No? Lady Pufflepaws? Ah! Don't panic! I'll get you! Don't worry, Lady Pufflepaws! I have my Ponty Pandy Pioneer swimming badge! That's Lady Pufflepaws! Come back, Lady Pufflepaws! Come back! Oh, and that's my Norman! Oh. <gasps> We'd better call Fireman Sam. Oh. There. All balanced. Thanks, Elvis. We'll store the pieces here until we can return them. Sorry. One more piece. Lady Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Lady Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Elvis, bring Saturn. To swing, but the thing I love best is when the fire bell ring. A tingling, a dingling, and just one more verse. Everybody knows that I'm a fireman first. <laughs> I am the biggest bouncer. The biggest show off, more like it. Call Fireman Sam! Mandy Flood and Norman Price are on an inflatable bouncy castle that's heading out to sea. 
Mandy Flood and Norman Price are on an inflatable bouncy castle that's heading out to sea. Castle heading north, northwest, Sam. Roger that, Ben. This is all your fault, Norman Price. We'll be fine, Mandy. This thing is full of air, so how can it sing? Oh, no, not you again. Shoot, shoot! Huh? No, no, stop that. Get off! Hang on, Mandy. Hang on, Norman. I'm slipping. Thank you, Fireman Sam. Thank you, Elvis. Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> Sorry, Fireman Sam, but it was that nasty seagull's fault. Norman, it was our fault. We should have waited like my dad told us. <sighs> Mandy's right. We should have waited. Sorry, Mike. Well, as long as you've learned your lesson, remember, safety always comes first. I'm just pleased you're both okay. And we even saved the bouncy castle. Oh. oh. Now I'll have to fix it and blow it up all over again. Thank you, Norman. Ah, uh, when it's ready, Mike, can I have the first bounce? Well done, James. That really was froggy spectacular. <laughs> uh, it's not fair. How come James gets to be the big froggy star? Because James has been reading all about frogs and how they move, Norman. And he's practiced for ages dancing in those flippers. It's really hard. Ah, I could do it way better than James. Watch. <laughs> Norman, just be happy to be a normal froggy like us. But I want to be the star of the show. People should be clapping for me. Me. Here we go, everyone. All right, first part of the drill, put out the fire with hoses. Roger that, Sam. That's you! Ah! 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 Craig Langton! Sorry, sir. Maybe you should help Tom with the second part of the drill, Elvis. He's going to pick up water from the sea in that carrier and dump it over the flames. Ooh, good idea, Sam. I like going up in a helicopter. Yes, and then you'd be, uh, out of the way of, uh, Fire Captain Steel. Uh, soaking wet again. Always happens when Crittlington's around. Can't wait to see the show, eh? Have you heard? James is the star. He's got the big finale. Oh, I bet it'll be spectacular. I'm feeling a bit nervous, Mandy. Don't worry, James. You'll be great. Definitely. You're our top froggy. <laughs> what was that, Norman? I, I, I should be the froggy star. I could easily dance in those flippers. No, you couldn't, Norman Price. But I could. There's only one star in this show, and it's James. And he's going to be amazing. <gasps> or maybe he isn't. Out of that so called star of the show. <laughs> That's the first fire out. I have to say, it's a lot easier without Cridlington around. <laughs> Can I press the button yet, Tom? Not yet, Elvis. The water's ready to drop, but we've got to be in exactly the right place. Uh -oh. I'll tell you when. Yes! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I'm not sure invincible's the right word. Uh, why do I have to have Norman on my team? He can't even skate. Don't worry, Derek. You've got Super Penguin on your side. Ah! <laughs> well done, you two. Every sidewalk in Ponty Pandy safely sanded. Splendid. Just the driveway to sand now. Uh, this is all we've got left, sir. Oh, dear. Well... We must use whatever sand we have left sparingly. Uh, how do we do that, sir? By applying my maximum cover, minimum sand method. Uh, otherwise known as shaky, shaky, shaky. Shaky, 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 sir? Oh, yes. Now, watch carefully. Shaky, shaky, shaky. 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 Come on, everyone. Shaky, shaky. Don't just stand there. Grab a shovel and join in. Shake. Okay, the rules are our team has to stop your team from hitting this can. And our team has to stop your team from hitting that can. Well, that's not going to happen. Ready, steady, go! It's three against two. No, it's not. It's three against three, Derek. You've got the super penguin on your side. Yes, he does. Oh, no. I cannot believe we are related, Norman Price. Huh? Mike, you'd better hurry up. It's getting dark. Soon the kids won't be able to see what they're doing. They will now. Ta-da! Shaky, 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 Looks like we've done it, sir. And there's still some sand left. Marvelous! That old shaky, shaky, shaky method works like a... Whoa! <laughs> I'm fine. Good thing we've got some sand left, sir. Shaky, shaky, Sam? Shaky, shaky, Ellie. If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help you out. So move aside, make way for fire and sand.